Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to study in detail about loops in C language. Let's get started. So loops helps us to execute a set of statements again and again until a certain condition is met. For example, if you are running or if you want to print something for 10 times in a program, then Instead of writing down the printf statement 10 times, what you can do is you can run a loop for 10 times for printing the same content in your output window. So this also reduces you the complexity of program and also increases the readability of the program with minimal instructions in your program. And different kinds of loops available in C language are while loop, do while loop and for loop. And let us understand in detail about these three loops one by one. Let's take the first and foremost loop that is while loop which is also called as entry control loop. That is you can see the syntax of while loop it is having a condition while of condition and inside the flower braces we are having some block of code which needs to be executed. So what the program does is or how the program will be executed is like it will be checking for this condition right over here in the entry point of the loop and if this condition is satisfied or if this condition is true it will be executing the block of code available right over here and after executing it will be going back to the condition again right over here and it will be checking for the condition again and again it will be checking for the condition and, and if it is true it will be executing the statements for second time and after executing it will be moving back to the initial stage of while loop and it will be checking for the condition. So until this condition becomes fail, this loop will be executed. So since the condition is checked in the entry point of the loop itself, this loop is called entry control loop. Control loop. And let us see an example for demonstrating this loop in Keel Microvision ID now. So now I am just opening the Keel Microvision IDE. And in this Keel Microvision IDE, for creating the project, click on Project New Microvision Project and go to the folder where you want to store your project. Let's take it to be, I am just creating a folder here and I'm just giving the name here to be pro you can give any name as per your wish and here in this first select device for target tab just type in the microcontroller name to be stm 32 re and you can choose this microcontroller right over here and then click on ok and in the next manage runtime environment tab just click on the plus near the CMSYS and check this box right over here near the core. And additionally, you just need the startup code required for your microcontroller. For that, click on plus near the device and check this box near the startup. This will provide you the necessary startup code required for ST Microelectronics Microcontroller STM32F446RE. In addition to that, just click on the plus near the compiler and plus near the IO under that compiler and here you just want to check in STD out and STD in. So these two are necessary for using printf and scanf and also for viewing the output from your code and getting the input from the user in debug viewer window in Keel Microvision IDE that we will see later on. So for using that you just want to check these two checkboxes right over here near the std in and std out and in this drop down select itm here also the same and click on ok 
and that's it the project has been successfully created and now we just want to create our own main.c file required for our project click on plus right over here the target and right click on the source group folder and click on add new item to group source group one here in this tab select the c file that is dot c file which we are going to create and give a name for your .c file. Obviously, the main .c file is the one which we are going to create. So, I am just providing the name to be main and then click on add. Now, this is the main .c file. I am just including the standard header as include of stdio.h in my program. And additionally, we just want the main function which is the foremost function which will be executed in every C program. So the usual thing int of main I am just creating. And since the return type of the main here is int I am just returning a 0 at the end of main function. So now we can start building our program right over here inside the main function. So let us try to demonstrate the while loop with an example. So I am just declaring a variable a with the initial value 0 and I am just going to write down a program for printing the a values from 0 to 9. So while of a less than 10. So you can clearly see this is the syntax for while loop while of condition so the condition that i have provided right over here is a less than 10 which means this loop will run until the value of a variable is less than 10 and coming inside this loop i am just going to print the value of a along with backslash n at the end and after this I am just going to increment the value of a with 1. So you can clearly see once in the beginning of the loop a value is 0. So a is equal to 0 will be printed. This condition will be checked 0 less than 10 is true. So a is equal to 0 will be printed and a becomes 1 right over here. And again this condition is checked now the a value is 1. So 1 less than 10 is true. So a is equal to 1 will be executed and a becomes 2 again this continues until the value 10 is reached so when the value of a is incremented to 10 you can check the next cycle 10 less than 10 is false so this loop will be terminated so values from 0 to 9 for the a values will be printed in the serial debug viewer window and the loop will be exited so let us check whether the program is working fine or not with this while loop. So I am just running the program. I am just keeping a breakpoint right over here. You can see a is equal to 0 has been printed and the program is terminated right over here. When I run this loop for the second time, a becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And when I run it for the final time, you can see the loop will not be executed. So the program will not come near to this breakpoint because this breakpoint is available inside the loop. You can see the loop has been exited and the program has been completed execution. So the final output in the debug viewer window is a is equal to 0 to 9. So this is the basic functionality of while loop in C language and the next type of loop that we are going to see is the do while loop. In this loop you can clearly see there is a do right over here in the beginning of the loop that is in the entry point and at the exit point we are having the condition which needs to be checked. So without even checking for the condition in the first instance these statements available right over here will be executed at least once and after complete execution of the statements in the first instance this condition is checked 
and if it is true again the statements are executed for the second time and again it will check for the condition and if it is true it will check for the third time and it goes on like this until the condition becomes false and since the condition is checked at the exit point this loop is also called as exit control loop since the condition is checked at the end of the loop so it is also called as exit control loop and let us demonstrate this loop with an example in our keen microvision ide and now let us try to alter the same program for printing values from 0 to 9 of a variable in do while loop so for that what i will do is i will cut this and i am going to paste it right over here and here i am just going to write do while when i run you can clearly see i will get the same output you can see the output is same the a values from 0 to 9 are printed and in do while as i mentioned irrespective of the condition is met for the first time the loop will be executed at least for once so let me just demonstrate that for you i am just changing this condition to a greater than 10 so the condition here is a greater than 10 but the initial value of a is 0 so irrespective of the condition available right over here 0 greater than 10 is false irrespective of this condition this a is equal to 0 will be printed and a becomes 1 and after that only the condition will be checked and it will be exited so let us demonstrate that this is called exit control loop so irrespective of the condition at least for once the statements inside the do while will be executed you can see a is equal to 0 has been printed so the loop has been executed for at least once irrespective of the condition available in the exit part so that is why this loop is called exit control loop because it is checking the condition in the exit of the looping statement so i hope you understood the do while loop functionality and the next loop that we are going to see is the for loop so syntax for this loop is a little different when compared to while loop and do while loop that we saw before so as soon as the control enters into this loop the initialization of variable will happen and it will check for the condition if it is true it will execute all the statements right over here and after executing this this increment or decrement operation that is available right over here will be executed and after this again this condition is checked and if the condition is true again again the statements is executed for the second time and after executing this again the increment or decrement operation is done and the condition is checked again and if it is true it will execute the statements right over here for the third time and it goes on like this so this is the basic functionality of for loop and most widely we will be using these kinds of loops in generating rough delays in our program and also for executing a block of codes that is that needs to be executed again and again until a certain condition is met and let us demonstrate this loop with an example in our keen microvision ide and now we are just going to alter this program for for loop a is equal to 0, a less than 10, a plus plus. So here you can clearly see we don't need this increment because we have provided the increment right over here. So the same output will be printed in the debug viewer window. a values from 0 to 9 will be printed because the condition here is a less than 10. So until this condition is met, this loop will be executed. I am just running this code. I am keeping a breakpoint inside this printf. First time, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and 
10th time that's it the output is as expected from 0 to 9 and you can also run this loop in a reverse manner i will show you how to do that that is i am just going to run it from 9 to greater than or equal to 0 and i am going to give the decrement operator right over here so now what happens is the a value will be initialized to 9 and this condition is checked 9 greater than or equal to 0 it is true so this printing operation will be performed and after that a value will be decremented so in this order from 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 all the printing operation will be performed in the reverse manner so this loop will be running in a reverse manner now let us just compile this and check whether it is running or not can see 9876543321 and finally 0 again when i run you can see the loop has been executed because the condition is not met right over here that's it so this is the basic functionality of running a for loop in forward direction and also in the reverse direction and i hope in this video you understood the basic functionality and the process involved in running while loop do while and for loop in c language in this video see you in the next video thanks for watching